Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Athena, and today I'm gonna be going over all 20 orange pebble locations. I'm gonna be talking super fast because I picked up these pebbles super fast, and as you can see, my big stupid face is in front of all sorts of portions of this video. It's because I was playing this game live on twitch.tv slash athenabean, so if you're interested in live content, please head over there and we'll have a grand old time. But I was told that you had to be wearing the lenses of shadows, which you can get from one of Scrooge's quest lines. And I didn't do the science to see if you could still see the pebbles without the glasses on. So I just left the glasses on the whole time because I trusted my community and that's that. So I started off my search in Moana's realm. Right when you enter, go directly backwards and the first orange pebble is at the very tip of the island. The second orange pebble is directly behind the campfire. There's only one campfire in this realm. Go directly behind it. It is right by the rocks of the campfire. If you go left of the campfire, find the rock formation that has a bunch of palm trees on it. This is still on the bottom level of the island. Go to the right hand side of that rock formation. It is on the ground. If you go up the right hand side to the second level of the island, on the left hand side there's going to be a palm tree and the orange pebble is right in front of that palm tree. In Wally's world there's only two, head to the crafting table. To the right of the crafting table there's going to be a tree, behind the tree is the first orange pebble. The second orange pebble, right when you enter Wally's world, there are three trees on the right hand side. Go to that third tree, it's behind the third tree. In Remy's world, there's only one head straight back, right? And it is in front of the loaves of bread. They look like loaves of bread. I don't know what they are. In the Toy Story realm, right when you enter, go backwards. And it is to the left of the big red backpack. The second one is going to be in the closet that is on the left-hand side. Right when you go into the closet, take a left. And it is all the way in the back left-hand corner of the closet. The third one is all the way to the right hand side of the bed. It's in front of the blue blanket on the ground. And the fourth one, follow the right hand wall as you enter the realm. And if you keep following that right hand wall, it's going to be in front of a blue book with a bunch of clouds on it right in front of where the pages are. Now, the frozen realm is a little bit tricky. Right when you enter the realm, there's two slabs of rocks to the right hand side. It's behind the second rock slab. Follow the path as it goes on and stick to the left-hand side. You will see this little rock formation. And if you continue on the left-hand side of this path, you will see a tree with a rock directly behind it. Now, to the left-hand side of this rock on the ground is where that third pebble is. For the fourth pebble in the frozen realm, I'm going to need you to go and find Samantha's air. <laughs> it is on the ground in that area. Now you can see me struggling trying to find it, but it is on the ground by Samantha's air. Now I want you to go to Mickey's secret room right when you enter to the left hand side is the very first orange pebble. There are actually three in this area. So find that first one, head straight to the back by the ladder. There's the second one, and then in the chest room by the barrels when you first walk in is the third one. Exit out of that room, go all the way up to the Mickey Fountain in the castle. Behind the Mickey Fountain, there is a little bush, and it is to the right of that bush. Head down the staircase on the right-hand side, and on the first level that you come across, I'm walking extremely slow in this area because I was trying to find the orange pebble in all of these stars. You see this pillar here? Go around this pillar and it is directly in front of this pillar. These pebbles are so freaking tiny. Now go all the way down the staircase and in the area where they kept the Christmas tree during the Christmas event, there's another pillar and it's gonna be to the right of that pillar. And that is all 20 pebbles. Once you collect all 20, head to your crafting station because you can craft the orange potato, which is really exciting after you collect all those 20 tiny little pebbles. <laughs> and then once you craft the orange potato, you can also go craft the electrifying orange potion. What does this do? We don't know yet. We have no idea what to do with these potions. They're not giving us any hints. We're just on this big old scavenger hunt and I am having the time of my life. I love finding these little things. I love collecting all of these little potions and it's just so much fun. So from the golden potato, we got the gleaming gold potion. From the red potato, we got the raging red potion. And now from the orange potato, 
we have the electrifying orange potion. And I'm just hanging on to all of them because we don't know what to do with them yet. And I'm, I'm just waiting for it to be like some sort of big spell to allow everybody to have their memories again or something. I don't know. I'm just speculating. That's not actually what it's for. But there's also a different surprise that we got for this update. Go into Ursula's house, head over to the right-hand side, go all the way to the back, and Ursula has a little surprise for us. It's a blue potato. So now I'm just waiting for a purple potato, a yellow potato, a pink potato. I don't know. There's so many colors that we can, we can do. I don't know what to do with the blue potato yet. There's no way to, like, make a potion with it in the crafting table. I checked. I don't know what to do with it yet, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. That's the end of this video. I hope this helped with all of the locations. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all very, very soon. If I find out anything more about the blue potato, you will be first to know.